Okay, good evening. So, uh, welcome to our uh, lesson again. So, we're just, we're just going to continue lesson number six before we proceed to lesson number seven, which is uh, the advanced conditional formatting. So, the last part of lesson number six is just a bonus. Actually, we finished already the topics that has to be covered there, but this is a preparation for your lesson seven which is the use of operators, okay, and also the future uh, lessons that we're going to have. So uh, let me share to you this lecture. Okay, so this will be uploaded on your Moodle as well. Uh, we call it operators. Uh, what do we have this? When you say operators, these are the different symbols that we use in a formula. So an example is a comparison operators, greater than, greater than or equal to, less than, less than or equal to, equal to, and then not equal to. So not equal to is that when you have a less than and a greater than uh, together. Okay, so we used this before even in our sum if and count if. Uh, functions. So we use already some of this. Okay, so don't forget this. Now we have logical operators. What is logical operator? So you use this also in programming and uh, the concept is just two. We have uh, two basic, the and and the or. Okay, logic. So we need to apply logic. When you say and, when you ever, for example, this will be used in conditional formatting and or your if uh, functions later on. Uh, when you say and, let's say you set criteria minimum of two. Okay, criteria one is the light on. Is uh, criteria two is criteria two is the door closed. So those two questions. If if those two are true, if those conditions are set or are met. Um, the answer is true. So they have all the conditions must be true so that your output will be true. OK, so if there is just one that is false on the statement, then our result will be automatically be false. That is the end. Um, the end uh, operator. Now the or OK, the or is just um, when you have two criteria or more, just we need one of those criteria to be true, then the result will be true. Just one, okay? Either, okay? If you have more than one true, all are true, then still uh, the result will be true. As long as there is a true in all those criteria. The only time that it will be false is that if there, all of those criteria were not met, okay? Then it's going to be false. OK, now the next are the mathematical operators, the parenthesis, exponent, multiplication, division, addition and subtraction. I'm going to discuss to you also mod modulus division and integer division. Now, uh, if you're familiar with this, P-E-M-D-A-S, PEMDAS, uh, in, in, in my elementary days or grade school days, we use this uh, concept in mathematics. Uh, it's the priority of your uh, operation inside a formula or uh, in mathematical operations. OK, so you give priority to parentheses. It will be executed first and then exponent and then multiplication and division. Either of the two, I mean, it's interchangeable and then addition and subtraction will be the last. OK. So all these operations, it has a priority, okay? Now, let's discuss this modulus division and quotient, uh, quotient or integer division. Modulus division returns the remainder. Quotient returns the whole number quotient. Mm, what's that? When you divide a number to another number, let's say five divided by two, it's your answer. So decimal number by calculator, of course, you're going to get 2.5, okay? But in elementary or in grade school, the answer 
uh, uh, with this operation, 5 divided by 2 is 2, but remainder 1, okay? 2, remainder 1, okay? 5 divided by 2 is 2, remainder 1, okay? In higher mathematics, it's 2.5 because of the decimal, but 0.5 is just 1 over 2 or 1 remainder, uh, 1 half, 0.5 is 1 half. Anyway, I think you're getting the point. So the modulus division, the remainder is 2, uh, 1, sorry, from that operation, 5 divided by 2 is 2 remainder 1. So when you use mod 5 and 2, the answer is 1. If you use the function quotient 5 and 2, the answer is 2. The whole number, we want only the whole number answer to that question. Okay? So I'm going to show you an example. So watch out. Okay, so I will give you an example uh, for the operators that we used earlier. Um, the task is highlight the numbers from the list in column A that when you divide it by 10, the result will have whole number quotient of 4. Okay? So, you remember the, the operator, the mathematical operator that I told you before. Uh, there is a modulus, uh, short for modulus division, division, M-O-D. Um, like, when you use that function for the two numbers, he will give you the remainder. Okay, the operation will still be division, but he will, the result will be the remainder. Um, or the fraction part. Now, the quotient is the whole number part. So, you can see here the result will be a whole number quotient of 4. So, we will apply that. So, we will need to highlight first the numbers, okay, considered in the list. Um, and then conditional formatting. And then I will start a new rule, okay. So, this is uh, an advanced conditional formatting. Now, we're going to use a formula to determine which cells to format. Okay, now let's see first the formatting that we're going to apply. Uh, in this case, let me just uh, go for the fill and I'll try this color. And then let's try the border. Uh, I will apply this, this one. So, or an outline. Okay, you can see here, you have to click the outline border and then click the style. Okay, color of it is automatic. I'll change it to red. Okay, so let's see the preview. So this is how it will look like. Okay, so let me see again. Uh, no, red. Uh, apply it. Yeah, okay. So this is red with this style and this color. Press OK. So this is how it will look like. Now, on the format values where this formula is true, so it is a formula, it's like a formula bar, you have to use equal sign, okay? Now, as I told you, you can use now that uh, function quotient, and we're going to identify this number first, A1. Okay, once you click this, okay, it will come here dollar a dollar one. You remember the absolute value, absolute will not change. Okay, so anyway, I'll discuss that to you. Uh, in the task again, it's uh, when you divide it by 10. So quotient that number when you divide by 10, close parenthesis, your whole number, the result will have a whole number quotient of four. So therefore, the result will be four. Okay, so that's how are you going to do this. Okay, so let me explain first the dollar sign because this is very important. Now, you want to ask the question for A1, if it is divided by 10, the whole quotient, the whole number, quotient is 4. Okay, so this is the interpretation of the formula. Okay, now, uh, this is true if you want to ask only the cell, but you want to ask the cell next to it which is a2 after he asks a1 
if it is true or false if it is true he will do the uh, uh, the formatting if it is false he will not okay so nothing will be done then you need to ask Excel to go to a2 okay now how are you going to do that you have to remove the absolute value on the number okay so it will go here okay so we press ok and that should be it so this is it uh, the dollar size should be kept on uh, a because uh, we are having a list with uh, just one column okay so you remember that okay so we will keep the dollar sign on the a and there is no dollar sign on the one you have to remember how to do this now let me press ok so you can see here these are the numbers that when you divide by 10 41 and 45 okay so the result will be 4 so you uh, as you can see it's not exactly divisible by uh, 4 or 10 divided by 41 divided by 10 it's not divisible by 4 the only number that is exactly divisible by 4 when you divide by uh, sorry exactly divis uh, exactly will have a result of 4 when you divide by 10 is 40 okay but we're not asking that we're asking any number that when you divide by 10 the result will be a whole number quotient of 4 okay so but uh, let me explain again that absolute value let me go back to that so I go here and then manage rules so this is the rule that you applied so as you can see quotient a1 when I just mouse over here you can see something as uh, uh, windows popping out formula is equals to quotient a1 dollar a1 comma 10 equals to 4 this is the format and this applies to here applies from a1 to a4 a1 to a4 so the the scope okay or the range of your formula okay or your rule okay will be only from a1 to a4 so when you ask that uh, formula quotient a1 he will do it first a1 okay since you did not put the dollar sign on the one then he will apply it to a2 after questioning a2 he will apply it to a3 and he will apply it to a4 he will stop on a4 because your application earlier remember the first step that you did is to highlight it. okay so let's press ok here and that's it okay By the way, I have to add uh, that in here, in this formula, um, the format will happen if this is true. So it's just a question, but you have to use the format quotient. Okay, you have to start with the equal sign. Quotient, open parenthesis, because this is a function. So he will perform a function, a1 and 10 should be equal to 4 or is it equal to 4 so the question is that he will identify a1 which is in your cell it's 33 and uh, uh, and divided by 10 okay now since the function is quotient he will just look for a the whole number quotient so is it equal to 4 that is the essence of your function it's always a question so if yes then he will format it if not it's false so he will not do anything and as i told you he will go now to the next cell okay so that's it uh that's our example for our operator so that's the quotient so you must know how to apply it if it is modulus that you're going to use or any formula inside the use of and the use of or uh, inside that conditional formatting box okay the rule that you're going to set okay so i'm expecting because you have done introduction to programming that you will apply that if you have any question you can uh, again ask during the live session or you can send question through email or through chat here at microsoft teams okay so with that thank you very much and have a nice day again ciao